That's the feeling I had this past week when I heard about race norming, which curves the cognitive test scores of NFL players who are black, assuming they have a lower level of intellect. I wasn't familiar with the specific term, but I wasn't at all surprised. It's kind of like when Des Bryant made that catch against the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs, the one that was ruled a non-catch on the field. We all saw it. The whole world knew it was a catch. But it took the NFL a few years to come out and say, oh, yes, it was a catch after all. Gee, thanks. It was another slap in the face. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Toy Cook, and I spent 11 seasons as a defensive back in the league, my first seven with New Orleans and two each with San Francisco and Carolina. I grew up in Los Angeles, went to school at Montclair Prep in the San Fernando Valley and Stanford, and relied on my intellect to have as long a professional career as I had. You've got to be pretty smart to make it that long as an eighth round draft pick. Obviously, you've also got to be the kind of athlete who can compete at a high level. If you just look at the way we practiced and played, where hitting was a way of life, you have to assume I might have lost some cognitive ability. While mine is still high, and I'm not as bad off as many former players, I still lost something. How much may not be determined until later, as it was with the tumultuous journeys of Junior So, Dave Duison and John Mackey, men who truly gave their lives for the game. Still, the NFL rejected my claim for a portion of the concussion settlement, despite the diagnosis of an acclaimed neurosurgeon. They didn't tell me why they rejected me. You're just supposed to accept it. That's typical of everything in our society. There's no transparency. Things aren't always as they seem. I learned that as a kid when I saw the magic of TV from a different perspective. My dad was a cameraman at Paramount and worked on shows like Soul Train and Entertainment Tonight and What's Happening. I grew up around Hollywood and went to school with Barry White's daughters, Robert Conrad's kids, the daughters of Tom Bosley and Peter Ubereth. As a kid, I went on a date with Rosie Perez. I mention this because these experiences took something that is so mysterious to so many and demystified it for me. It wasn't magic anymore. It was studios that were so cold the producers were running around in sweaters when it was 90 degrees outside. It was, oh, so that's how this stuff happens. When I got to college, the NFL was kind of demystified too. When I was a sophomore at Stanford, I got to work out in the summers with NFL players who would come around. Some of the 49ers like Ronnie Lott and Eric Wright, Joe Montana and Mike Wilson. Jim Plunkett would come back to Stanford, and so would Kenny Margaram. I'm out there covering pros who had been in the league for seven years. I'm all over them, 